Okay, excuse the way I look, if you can even see me. If you can't see me, good. Because there'll be a lot of these videos I'm going to be in the dark. Or either partially dark. And I hadn't too long ago woke up. It was like 9 o'clock or 9 something when I woke up. And excuse the background noises. It's my TV. I'm watching TV while doing this video. But I want to tell y'all something. Happy Earth Day! Now... Being that said, we need to remember a uh, natural list, if that's how you say it, John Mueller. And if you don't know what he, who he is, for those of you that can see this video, Google the guy and enjoy what you find on him. And I'm not ashamed to admit that if you catch me looking grody, I just woke up. And that's the only time you're going to catch me looking grody. So, excuse the way I look now. But anyhow, people, we need to respect the environment. We need to respect our elders. And we need to respect the world. Hold on, let me try something here. Okay. I was going to make sure that I did this right. But anyhow, folks, if I... I won't, I won't ever... I, I apologize about myself. But then in another way of putting it, I don't apologize for myself. I apologize for myself in the sense of, yeah, I did do some stuff I probably shouldn't have done. But, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Good grief, I dropped the phone. Okay, I'm doing this off of my cell phone, so I keep dropping it. And I don't have a shame in using a tablet or a cell phone to do videos. If you do, then you got some issues. But also, I want y'all to know something. That if you ever do a video where you look grody, please let there be a theme behind it. Like in my case, I just not too long ago woke up. I'm sitting here watching TV doing this video. And of all things, having Breakfast of Champions, Sunflower Kernels, and the biggest barrel cup of coffee. Well, alright. Yesterday, I had to go out of town to take care of some business. While I was in the other county and town I was in that day which was yesterday I bought some items that I had the money and the time see I took care of my business got it done I had free time so I went shopping do not judge me for that and also I also didn't mention if there was someone with me or not but the mo but for you people out there, if you ever know me personally and say that I was a spoiled child because my mom treated me like she did, that is not being spoiled. That's just the treatment you get when your mother does you better than your dead single father. My dad, when he died, he was single. He was not married to nobody. He was in his 80s, and he wasn't the best father in the world. And I don't want to digress on that, but... I'm just telling you. But anyway, the point in my story is is that uh, Okay. But kind of died. I kind of drifted off because TV's on when I but anyhow back to where I was. For you people out there you know, don't judge a man by what you see. Judge a man by what he is. If he's a nice guy and respectful guy and treats you like you're the best thing in the world, like if you're his best friend and he treats you like a best friend, if he's your boyfriend and he treats you right, your husband, if he treats you right, then don't go saying that it's all because he got... Spoiled by his mother. He might have had a separate family. His he, his dad might have been living on his own. His mom might have been living on her own. They might have been married at one time to each other. But it didn't work out so they had to divorce and separate and go on their own way. That makes sense. But sometimes moms just happen to be the only thing that child has to a family. That mom may be his mom and dad. Even though the dad exists and the dad's real and the dad lives, she may be what 
he has for security and for safety when he's growing up. So don't judge him. And you girls out there who, some of you, some of you women out there are gold. You are nice and sweet, and I respect y'all. Now some of y'all. Hold on, I gotta do something here before I get distracted anymore. Yeah, I'm, you might see glimpses of me. Let me turn this off. I don't want to get so distracted, I can't do the video. But, anyhow, I just don't understand folks that say that this perfect gentleman is that way because he's spoiled when I just told you the reason. And also, I want to tell you something. There are the wild women, and then there are the wannabe wild women. There's the sweet women, and there's the wannabe sweet women, and then there's these women that you're confusing me, women. You tell guys and other women how you want life to be, and when it comes your way, some of y'all run from it like nothing. I'm not going to name names, but I had a girlfriend one time, which now is ex, because... If you say you had one at one time, that is a explanational way of saying your ex-girlfriend. You explained through saying, I used to have a girlfriend. In a nutshell, that just means your ex-girlfriend. But anyway, let me quit digressing again. But she was one of these people that you enjoyed the time you had with her. And she let a bombshell, dropped a bombshell on you. And when she dropped the bomb on me, it was like, Oh, you mean to tell me you had all these problems you saw with me and you didn't tell me about it until what? Okay, that's just messed up. Screwed up, messed up. And so, when she told me all the things she found wrong with me while we couldn't be together, well, she was one of these that was hard to let go because... It's just some girlfriends you have in this world that when you break up with them forever, it's hard to let it go because you wish you were still with them. I mean, I'm not going to lie about it. And I I saw this coming. I should have saw this coming, which I said I saw it coming. Well, really, I never did see it coming. But anyway, the point in my story is she was somebody that I saw her again on the internet, and I tried to talk to her on this one program. I was able to get through. We talked. I tried to see if we could get back together. She made out like being with me was hurting her, and I tried to find out why, and she said it was I wasn't getting the real her at the time I was with her, that I wanted the her that I got then. Well, to me, that kind of made me think that you... Or trying to tell me the whole time you were lying with your actions about who I am. I'm not saying that she did or not. Excuse whatever you see in this video. But anyhow. Now look folks. I'm not ashamed to admit my lifestyle. It's just that one person at a time need know it. Because if I told everybody about it. You know what this internet's about. It's about... The good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay, the ugly is people that intentionally get on the internet to show you how horrible they look. And then there's those that get on the internet looking horrible, saying they're sorry because they just woke up. And that's me. I'm not going to I'm not gonna feel bad about what I'm doing. I'm not going to sit there and say, oh, I had to apologize that I looked bad when I woke up. And then go beyond that and feel worse than that because I told you that I told you this from the get go yeah I know I know it was one evening I was eating something and uh might have been last night I might have been and I had some soup or something on. Uh, what it is sometimes I eat food and Sometimes I eat at the table and sometimes I eat at my recliner and sometimes when I'm sitting there I'll get tired and I'll fall asleep on my recliner and then the dishes that I ate with, well, they sometimes get to sit 
on the um, side table by my recliner, and then the next day or so, I'll pick them up and go wash them. So don't judge me. I do wash my dishes, okay? So don't go there. But anyway, my point is, um, it's just, I don't know. But, you know, some folks in this world, you know, you just, but back to where I, oh, look how ugly I look right now. My lamp just came on with the timer. Isn't that lovely? Sorry. But I still say that when I get through with this video, I'm going to try to put myself together. And then if I decide to do another video today, I will do so with, um, oh, and by the way, happy Earth Day if I hadn't said it before. And I think I did when I started out. But also, chalk this down on your message board, on your mind. Everybody's got one, got a mental message board. This is what happens when this goes on, or that's what happens. Like I said before, and I'll say it again, if I look terrible, it's all because of the fact that I, when I do videos looking terrible, I just woke up, or either I'm dog sick. So just remember that. But also I want to say that uh, the reason why I don't put all my info out there to you people when I'm doing these videos is because some of you, you know how the inner is. It's about the good, the bad, and the ugly, like I said before. And it's basically, basically what I'm getting at is you people out there, if some of y'all knew everything about me, you'd find something to pick apart in the situation. And you would say, oh, look at him. He's got this going on. Look, look. God made me how he made me. I ain't, I'm not perfect. I ain't perfect. I, I'm not perfect. I will not be perfect. I even want to say it. But I do know that, yeah, I will apologize when I look terrible. But I will try to let you know that this is not me. This is just me for now. Now, when you say, when I say it's not me, I mean it's the me right now. When I say that the full-time me is when I look my best. My part-time me is when I look like, man, I just, I'm tired and I just woke up or, oh man, I'm sick or something. And I'm bad about having sinus troubles. I got sinusitis a lot. And... What I've noticed, you go to sleep, and you wake up, and your nose will be stopped up. So, anyhow, I just wanted to let y'all know that, well, around here, about 3.30, on Earth Day 2014, at these apartments, they're going to do a, they're going to plant some plants and have a little party. Now, nothing, to me, I may be wrong, but nothing spells a party like plant and plants. Ain't that right? What? I don't understand all that. And that what was not the what you think it was. It's a what like, what in the world? I mean, I understand that you need to respect the environment and place it up, but if you're going to plant plants, call it what it is. A plant planting day. Oh, yeah. We're going to plant plants today. A and then we're going to call it a party. Unless they have refreshments or or something. I can understand it. Now, if you don't have a party theme attached to your plant theme, then what are you talking about? I didn't say I'm against it. I'm just saying I'm just against the wording of it. That's all I'm saying. And it's supposed to be at the office. Because the people that run, well, I wouldn't say run, they work here at these apartments that you pay your rent to, those are the ones that are doing it. And I, I love them as friends dearly because they're good to me. And they've done things for me and for others too. Don't get the wrong idea for other people too. That they wasn't going to get in trouble for doing, but they just went above and beyond. They went the limits of what the Lord would let them do. And it was like, wow, thank you. Thank you. 
I really appreciate it. And if you ask me where I live, I will tell you where I live. And I'll go a step beyond that. Give you a rating of the place because it's wonderful. I love living here. I lived in a small town. I moved to another county. And where did I go to? Another small town. I don't know why, but I did. My mind wasn't there, I guess. But anyhow, that's me for you. And I just want to let you know. I know y'all get tired of hearing me blah, blah, blah all the time. But for those of you that do love me on here, thank you. I love you back. And I wish the best for y'all. And God bless you and good luck. And hope you have a good Earth Day. And remember, like subscribe and talk to me if you like what i'm doing say dude i like what you're doing and i want to talk to you and be your friend man i'm like cool or if this girl said look dude i know how you feel i've been there before about waking up looking like a total whatever and i don't care that people see me that way but then again i kind of feel bad that they see me that way even though i don't care at the same time like yep that's me I do care and don't care at the same time about you seeing me like this because I chalk it up to, yeah, I look bad and a lot of people shouldn't see it like that, but then I chalk it up to, well, yeah, you just woke up and a video idea popped in your mind and you decided to go with it after you had that weird old breakfast you just spoke of. But remember, remember, uh, if you look at my likes and dislikes on YouTube and see who I'm watching and all and you want to check them out, go right ahead because you will find out that there are some of them on there you have to have tissues to watch because some of those people are hilarious and it's, it gets funny. I mean, I'm getting old. I'm almost 33 year old. So I'm... You know you're getting old when the wild hairs on your body are now white. Not trying to gross you people out, but one day I was in a store that had a bathroom section. I went into that section looking around. I noticed their little stand-up mirrors, the kind that stand up on the table, tabletop mirrors, and it had a reversal. It was one of them it flips. One side was a regular mirror and the other side was a magnifying mirror. I got to the magnifying mirror. I noticed I had a long stray hair in my nose and it was white. I said, oh, dang, I'm getting old. <laughs> I, and and on your head, you know that little uh, support beam that goes from your uh, bangs or bangs, bangs, whatever you call it, down to your sideburn, you know, right up here. It's white in there some, and I'm thinking, I'm getting old. I'm just getting old. Ain't no doubt to, about it. But you know what? One good thing about getting old is that, you know, you, you meet more people that way. Because the people that you met before, you think, well, they're cool. They're still cool. I mean, I like dealing with them, and I like being around them. But then you get additional folks, and now you're, if you're the cool old guy or old woman, then you got this here cohort of you got your young friends and your older friends you got the teenagers that think an old person is cool and then you got these fools that just want to be fools i mean they say you know hey you're a jerk you're oh you're 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 stinky and i'm like what when you get old embrace the positive out of it because sooner or later it'll be discounts for you at different stores Senior discount. I ain't that old yet, but one day I will be, and I'll be like, pay for all your high-priced gadgets. There's going to be some stores that'll say, are you an elderly gadget lover? I'm like, yeah. you would be like, well, it's your day, because it is senior discount at the electronic store. I'm thinking, the electronic store? I'm like, what? I didn't even know they had such, but they probably do somewhere. I know the food. Come on, people. And I was always one into the southern buffets because the food was great. You know, like old times. Look that up. O-L-E times T-I-M-E-S. If you find out where one is near you, go try it out. You will love the food. If you're into things like Fatback and, and 
vegetables, and I mean, just go check it out. Also, enjoy life to the fullest. Don't think that living your life to the fullest means go act like evil can evil. But it does mean don't turn down opportunities. When you got, when you're pocket rich, folks, when you're pocket rich and you have the time, hold on, let's see if I still got time here. Yep. When you're pocket rich and you've got them, this idea, look, I see this item, I want it, it, weigh out the value. Do you really need it? And if you think you can use it for something, buy it. Because there will be a time in your life when you will look at yourself and say, no, it won't buy this, no, it won't buy this, no, it won't buy this, no, it won't. But then you got to have this life-changing experience. And I don't know if it's your age that's got anything to do with it or what it is. Where you just look at this thing and say, I got the money. I automatically see this image of what I will do with it. Yeah, I'll buy it. Okay. Do you remember, for those of you that don't know, I'll explain in explanations what they call the barrel coffee cup. Okay. I seen, no lie, and bought one, the hugest barrel coffee cup, you know, the old classic white barrel coffee cup, the largest one of those I've ever seen. It looked like you could have carried a whole water tower in your hand. And it was ceramic. And I said, it was almost like it, you know, like you see in these movies when, you see that mad, you see that one thing, you probably ain't seen it for it. In the movies, you've probably seen it where somebody stares at something and all of a sudden it's like, ah, hallelujah, ah, and it all had, and it had that glow on it, like lights coming off of it. And that little moment told you that that item was either something they had to steal, something they had to either buy, or something they had to grab before the bad guy took it. Well, my moment happened when I saw that cup, and I said, gotta have it, and I bought it. It was only three ninety nine. You're like, say what? Three ninety nine? Yep. Well, you did good, my sir. Like, yeah, but the problem was, my guts is now drowning in one of my favorite hot beverages, coffee. Well, not exactly. I guess I like it hot and cold, but. But that's just me. And I like, I recommend something else is good. Go to Walmart and get those little uh, pouches. You've probably seen them before. Get the, okay, go to Walmart. Go into the grocery department. Go into the, when you get to the grocery department of Walmart, go into where the powdered drinks are in Walmart in the grocery department. You know, like the, Powdered juices, powdered teas, powdered Kool-Aids, all that stuff. And get you the Walmart's brand of peach tea. It'll be a box and it'll have little sleeves in it. And each sleeve has some powder in it. The powder, when mixed with water, becomes peach tea. Traditional peach tea. Okay. That, to me, is good because, well, I like peach tea. I like lemon tea, I like regular sweet tea, and I like green tea, but now if you give me green tea, I will drink very once in a while the cold green tea, but I'm, if you, if you do it right, now I have had, I have had a hold of some, some sweet cold green tea that was wee good, but I like it hot. And a good thing you can do with uh, green tea if you want to is put sweetener in it and some honey when it's uh, piping hot and let it cool off a while and then drink that stuff. If it's hot green tea, that's good. But anyway, I know, I know when you get to a certain point in your life and you're doing videos and you're getting older, you'll start going on and on and they're like, what? Is this guy even talking about? But I need to let you go. Enjoy the video if you can. And also enjoy looking at the videos and the people that I have on my YouTube page. And like, subscribe, comment, 
be my friend. And if there's anything on there telling about the other places I am on the internet, then go there and see what's going on there. If not, ask me and I'll tell you. Peace. Joy life.